Following several campaign blitzes in battleground states, former President Donald Trump arriving in West Palm Beach Tuesday morning, hours after a late rally in Grand Rapids, Michigan. November 5th today will be the most important day in the history of our country. The former president holding the final campaign rally of his two year long bid for president Monday night, taking the stage after midnight and speaking until after 2 a.m., urging his voters to show up at the polls. With your vote tomorrow, we can fix every single problem our country faces and lead America and indeed the world to new heights of glory. In his closing message, Trump dishing out personal insults, even referring to former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi with an expletive. She's a crooked person. She's a bad person. Evil. She's an evil, sick, crazy. It starts with a B, but I won't say it. I want to say it. Before votes are even counted, the former president casting doubt and making claims about election integrity, saying if he loses, his supporters are to blame. No, all we have to do, if we, if we get out our people, it's over. There's nothing they can do about it. It's nice when you have that, right? You know? In other words, to make you feel a little guilty, we would only have you to blame. <laughs> At his rally in Pennsylvania, Trump calling some undocumented immigrants nasty people, floating the idea of migrants having their own fighting league. I want the migrant to go against the champion, and I think the migrant might actually win. That's how nasty some of these guys are. In recent weeks, Trump has been appealing to young male voters in a series of interviews on podcasts. And overnight, he got a big endorsement from popular podcaster Joe Rogan. Just want to thank Joe Rogan. That's fantastic. And Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, arriving to a polling site in his home state of Ohio Tuesday morning.